What's up, everybody? This is Whiskey in the Six. I'm Rob. Doing the Brook Laddie Bear Barley 2008. So this one's bottled in 2018, making it close to 10 years old, if not over 10 years old. What's cool about this stuff is the barley's grown on Isla, and they're very specific as to where it's grown. All right, so it's grown in the Dunlosset Estate, uh, which is, if I'm not mistaken, the east side of... Isla, they're only able to get five hardest out of this particular type of barley, uh, bear barley to be exact. And it says on the back of the bottle, since day one at Brook Laddie, the integrity and provenance of our barley has been paramount. This series explores the esoteric diversity of our essential raw material. So diversity in barley grown on Isla, lots of information on the bottle and the tin, all right? Very cool stuff, and it's technically age stated, or at least vintage stated, 2008, bottled in 2018. Gonna nose it, taste it, and give it a mark. So, I was actually pretty impressed with this when I first opened it. I think I got it for around 100 bucks at the LCBO. One of the few decent bottles available at the LCBO. And a decent price range too. 50% ABV. So on the nose, you get a nice light green apple. Some grass-like notes. Like a cream honey, but not very dominant. A nice maltiness to it as well. Definitely orchard fruits on this one. Yeah, definitely honey as well. On the palate. Really, really nice on the palate. Great ABV, decent viscosity. Not overly viscous, despite being 50%. That orchard fruit definitely comes through on the palate. You get a lot of nice apple notes, but not necessarily sour green. More towards something a little bit more ripe, uh, less tart. A nice, like light sugary note maybe like a powdered sugar really nice finish is medium definitely still taste the apples on the finish Not a hint of peat to this, which Brook Laddie never bottles. The Brook Laddie expressions of their distillery peated only the Port Charlotte stuff and the Octomore stuff, obviously, uh, are the peated versions of Brook Laddie. But definitely not even a trace of peat on, on my palate anyway. But you become a little bit uh, peat insensitive, I guess you can say, um, over the years. So if there is, it's very, very, very small. Nice multi notes though, really nice. Good stuff. So weighing ABV, cost and quality all together, I would say that this is probably an 87. And the only reason I give it an 87 is because I wouldn't replace this bottle. I'm not gonna go out and buy another one uh, that's usually the, the the mark I usually reserve for a replacement bottle is 88 or higher. So 
This one comes in a little bit short of that. Maybe I would even go down a notch and go to 86. It's good. It's got nice overall profile. It's a nice approachable whiskey. It's I think just north of $100 at the LCBO if I'm not mistaken. And elsewhere I didn't see it for much less than $90. If, again, good stuff overall. Like I said, 86, 87 is my mark for this one. I'm gonna enjoy the rest of this, but I probably won't replace it unless I see something super interesting in a new addition to the series. So one of the newer bottlings, maybe that's changed up enough that I'm gonna be interested in buying this particular whiskey again. But there's a lot of cool information on the tin. I highly recommend you check it out, read it. Um, if you haven't already, interesting stuff and a lot of transparency here, which is what we're asking for. Just because I don't necessarily love this expression doesn't mean it's not worth getting and experiencing for yourself. All right, good stuff, just not great. I'm not upset with the purchase. I'm gonna enjoy the rest of this whiskey. I'm just not gonna buy it again. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you really like the video, you can hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Hit the bell to get notifications for when I do release a video. You can check me out on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and you can support this channel on Patreon. Cheers.